Hello everyone. Now we'll be solving a problem based on logarithms again. So here you have an expression here: log five base two minus summation k starts from one, it goes till four. Log base two and sine of sine of k pi by five. This reduces to p by q, right? Where HCF of p and q is one. That means basically they're co-prime, right? So you need to find the value of p square plus q square. So just pause the video and try. Okay, I hope that you have tried enough. Let's head over to the solution now. So, how do we solve this? Okay, first of all, we need to we need to evaluate this part. Okay, so let's open this expression first of all. Okay, so we can write here. We can write here as so. Let us say this expression is. Um, let me say. Okay, let me take this expression as it is here. So that is your log five base two, and I will just uh, expand this one right now. This this sigma right. So this will be your log base two. K starts from one, so this will be sine sine pi by five. Then plus log base two sine two pi by five. Plus log base two sine three pi by five. And we are supposed to go till four, right? And then plus log base two sine. Four pi by five. I hope this is clear to you. This is how I have opened the expansion, and this expansion will reduce down to p by q. So we'll 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 observe that. Okay, later. So let's solve this first of all. So this will be equal to here log five base two. Now, if you know the property of log, whenever log and the base is same, right? Log a base b and then log c base b. You know this addition converts to multiplication. This is the property of logarithm, right? So we'll We'll use this property here. Okay, so we'll write this expression as log base two, and all these arguments of log that is sine pi by five, sine two pi by five, sine three pi by five, and sine four pi by five. We'll just multiply these arguments. Okay, so this will be in the product form now. Sine pi by five, and then sine two pi by five, then here sine three pi by five, and then here sine of Four pi by five. So this is what I have written here, right? Now we can write here log five base two, and this one can be written as now. So if you notice this sine pi by five, and here four pi four pi by five. So this four pi by five, if you notice here, this can be written as okay. So this is uh, this can be written as sine. Sine pi, sine pi minus pi by five. Okay, we can write like this. So five minus one is four. Okay, four pi by five. So this is as good as sine pi by five, right? So we can combine this, and we can write here. We can write here log base two and sine pi by five and sine four pi by five. If you club this together, this will be your sine square pi by five. And if if you observe this, this can be written as sine two pi by three. And if you notice this carefully, this is as good as sine two by five, right? So it is equal. So I can write here sine square two pi by five because they are having double occurrence, right? So I hope this much is clear. If it is not clear, please refer to your trigonometry formulas. Okay. Now log five base two minus. Now if you notice here, I am having sine square x here, and here again I am having sine square x. So we know this. We know this. That cos 2x. Okay, so let me write with a different color. We know this very well. That cos 2x is nothing but cos square x minus sine square x, right? So from this one, we can write cos 2x. We can write this one as this cos square. We can break into sine square. We can write here one minus sine square minus sine square, right? So from this one, we can write we can write easily sine square x equals one minus cos of 2x divided by two. We can use this uh, this formula here, right? So we can write here log base two, and this will be one minus uh, one minus cos two x. So first of all, if I write the angle here directly, you know, so this will be your sine square one eighty by five. That will be thirty six degrees. Okay, and here sine square two pi over here. That will be seventy two degrees, right? So if I write in degrees, now you can see here seventy two is double of thirty six. Okay. So let me write with this color only. Consistent colors, right? Log five base two, and here log base two, 
and this sine square thirty six can be written as one minus cosine of two x. So x is a thirty six. So thirty six times two is seventy two, right? So one minus cos seventy two, div okay, divided by two, okay. And here, this one I can write here. This sine square seventy two I can write here one minus cosine of one forty four divided by two. I hope this makes sense, right? Now proceeding ahead. So we need to simplify this further again. So this will be log base two here again, and this one if you notice one minus cos seventy two, this can be written as sine eighteen, right? One minus cos ninety uh, minus eighteen that this can be written as sine eighteen, right? So we can write here happily, okay? One minus sine eighteen degrees, and we know the value of sine eighteen, right? That is your root five minus one by four, okay? And here cosine one forty four can be written as one minus one minus cos <coughs> sorry pi by Pi minus thirty six. Okay, so we can write this one. So this one we can write as one minus minus plus, <coughs> and here cos thirty six divided by two times two is four. Okay, and this is inside the argument for this log base two. Now we'll replace the values here. Okay, so these are the standard values actually. So log base two one minus sine eighteen. Sine eighteen we know it is under root five one. Sorry, under root five minus one by four. This is multiplied with one plus square root of five plus one divided by four. This entire divided by four here. Fine. Now we need to resolve this. Okay. So after you resolve this expression, so if you resolve this one, so here one a a plus b into a minus b form is there, right? So we can write this one. If you resolve this, this will be your okay root. This will be your four, and here four minus one. Okay, five. So this will be your, this will be your five minus root five, times five plus root five. If you resolve this right, and this entire divided by four times four is sixteen, and sixteen four is sixty four. So in the denominator sixty four. See, four times four here it is sixteen, and sixteen into four is that is sixty four. Right. Now bracket closes there. Now you can see clearly we can resolve this argument of log very easily. So we can write here log base two, and this is. Twenty-five minus okay, five square twenty-five minus five. So that is your okay, twenty by twenty by sixty-four. So twenty-four by uh, sorry, twenty by sixty-four. This is twenty by sixty-four, and that becomes your twenty-four in four five and four four. Okay, so here five by sixteen. Uh, sorry, this will be your this will be your five by sixteen. Why? Because five five is twenty five, right? You you can understand this basic calculation. Twenty five minus five that is twenty, and twenty by sixty four is nothing but five uh, four times five and four times okay four times sixteen is sixty four. Fine. So this is done. Now what we can do here? We can write here log five base two, and here we can write. So if I write this in inverse form, okay, like this sixteen by five to the power minus one. We can happily write this, right? Now you'll get the reason why I have done this, okay? So log five base two, and this minus one will jump out here, right? So plus plus one times log two, log base two, and here sixteen by five argument. Now you see uh, base is same, and here addition. So we can definitely multiply this inside the argument. Okay. So five times sixteen by five, five cancels out, and this can be written as log base two, and sixteen is two power four. So this is nothing but four. So this one, if you compare with p by q. If you compare with p by q, this is your okay. Your p by q is equal to four by one. Now, if you if you find p square plus q square, so p is four square, that is sixteen and one square, so sixteen plus one, that is seventeen. So seventeen is the answer to this problem. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this problem. Okay. See you in the with yet another question. Right.